Here's another video in the series on garage roof framing. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time going around and showing you about this particular video because I'm going to make another video after this. So the next video I make will show you how to build this particular roof or the process that uh, how I would build it at least. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hip roof. Now remember this is a 20 foot by 20 foot garage. So the hips are going to meet in the center on a perfectly square building. So here are our hips. And the corner. So kind of take a look. We got the jack rafters, fill rafters. And then we have little trusses here. So here's a little truss, a little truss with a longer um, rafter for our jack rafters here. And then on this side, we have different rafters. You can see here that the bottom cord or the ceiling joist basically goes all the way across. Now I have a single truss here and I just put that in to give you an idea, this is probably not going to be common. This one here, probably going to have a double truss. We'll see on the other side here. So another view of the single truss. And of course I have my little nails going in here. Um, I used to block these if they required them, but sometimes they didn't provide us with specifications and I used to just in nail the truss in there if it was a single truss and of course the double this is going to be referred to as a girder truss now this one here is going to support a little more weight now i i also left this i've seen them like this before but this isn't going to be very common most of the time the rafter tail is cut off and i'll show you that in a second here another view of the rafters and of course, these rafters here, or the tops of these uh, trusses here, they're going to sit on top of the girder truss most of the time. And this is going to provide them with additional support. Otherwise, the rafter might need to have been a two by six if it wasn't supported um, here. So I hope that makes sense. And of course, here's the girder truss that is usually just two trusses nailed together and the rafter tail isn't going through here and of course that's to keep everything uniform you have a single 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 you don't want a double in here even though i've seen that uh, plenty of times so that's it for this roof here basic on this because uh, i'm going to go ahead and show you how to or how I would at least build something like this. And a lot of times a roof like this can be built. And I, I built these by myself all the time. I'm going to go into detail. It might be a couple of videos, but it is going to be the next video. And of course, I'll put a link here at the end of the video um, after it is made also.